is Rachel Georges, the artist behind Gorgeous Mixed Media. Today I want to talk about why I've been MIA and what my goals are for this channel. I do have a pearl puddle pour to share with you this morning. So while we're going through those colors, uh, let me just explain. This, uh, this video has been sitting in queue for several months. And uh, so I did put the color description down in the lower left hand corner. This is one of those paintings where I laid the primary elements down first and then I went over with the base coat and then on top of that the uh, puddle paints. Uh, so if you want a more detailed description of this process, I'll link uh, the similar, a similar video in the upper right hand corner so you can check that out. Uh, but today I really wanted to focus on, on number one, uh, reconnecting with you guys and explaining where I've been. Um, and number two, uh, kind of talk about what my goals are for this channel in the future. So, um, that said, if you like this video at the end, I hope you'll consider subscribing, uh, click, click those likes, uh, maybe even hit those bell notifications if you want to get alerts for future videos. Uh, so here, yeah, you can see I'm putting in those primary elements. Uh, so number one, where have I been? Um, well, a kind of a culmination of multiple things happened at one time. Um, number one, my daughter's best friend passed away very suddenly, very unexpectedly. She was young. Uh, she was 20. And, uh, you know, my daughter's 19 at the time, trying to graduate high school. And uh, this was her best friend. You know, this girl stayed over at my house. They had sleepovers. They did, you know, everything together. And um, it was a very tragic passing. Uh, so it, I had to help her with that, um, help her get through that, help her with, you know, finishing school, get graduated. Um, and, and just kind of try to move on with her life. Um, so that, that was one big thing. Um, my, my brother was also having health stuff going on. And, uh, any of you who have followed me on Facebook or Instagram, other places, you'll probably remember, uh, seeing a, a little bit about that. Um, so there, you know, just a lot of family stuff going on. On top of that, um, I was just feeling a lot of social media burnout, uh, for lack of a better explanation. I just was burned out, um, feeling like I needed to keep up with posting video content every day at certain times and, um, trying to, trying to run a website, trying to sell my art. Um, it was all just a little bit too much. Um, and, I, and so I think for me, I just kind of lost track of why I started, you know, sharing my art uh, on social media to begin with, including YouTube. Um, I started with YouTube uh, first. Uh, that was, you know, the first real platform that I started sharing, you know, any art with anybody was YouTube. Um, and this is, this channel is going on, uh, two years now, I believe. But so I was trying to do a lot of things all at once. And <laughs> I don't know that I really knew what my goals were. Um, I was just doing and, uh, really wearing myself out. Uh, so would I like to sell my art? Absolutely. Um, yeah, nobody wants their art just hanging around forever. Uh, we make art to share it with the world, and I think it's cool if, you know, people want to buy my art. But um, the only reason why I ever started trying to sell my art was just to pay for the art, <laughs> you know, <laughs> and just to be able to pay for uh, continuing to be able to make art, um, which... You know, I, I have a good job. I make good money. I can make art. 
regardless of whether or not I sell my art. It's just nice to have that uh, uh, net positive, right? Uh, so, but to be honest, the more I think about it, the stress of trying to sell art and market art and market yourself on social media and always be seen is not worth it, in my opinion. For some people who are really good at it, by the way, um, it works for them and they enjoy, you know, doing all that. Um, I don't. I never really intended on, you know, quitting my day job, to be honest. I always kind of intended for this to be something that I do for fun uh, on the side. And, and that's really it. So I think I lost track of that. I lost sight of, of what my goals were for my art, um, and also why I share it on social media. So I've taken my website down. It's, um, it was a huge, re- the second that I pulled my website down, I felt this huge <laughs> burden lift off my shoulders. And you know what, I might revisit that in the future once I have a better handle on, you know, what I want to do with my art. Uh, for right now, for me, it's just, I just want to make art. Uh, I want to paint. I want to explore. I want to experiment and, and then hopefully share it with people that appreciate it. And that's it. Um, so no big designs here. I, I don't really have much more to say about it than that, except, you know, if you do see something that you really like, something that resonates with you that I've shared and you're interested, you know, of course, you can always reach out to me, um, my email, uh, you can reach out by email, you can reach out by, you know, Instagram, whatever. Uh, but that said, it's not going to be my focus. Um, my focus is going to be on becoming a better artist and also just being in love with making art again. Um, so these past few months that I've been away, I have been, I have been making art, you know, I just haven't been recording and I've been making art pretty regularly. Um, I'd say I took probably maybe, um, two months off to deal with, you know, all the family stuff. Uh, but after that, you know, I was still making art. I just, I just didn't want to record. I didn't feel like recording. Um, and I was honestly, I really, I really was questioning whether I even wanted to continue you know, sharing in any way, um, on social media because it, it does take a lot of time, uh, to edit videos, to, you know, put them in an interesting format that people, you know, might actually want to see. Uh, it does take a lot of hours to do all that. So I had to consider, you know, what, what I really want to do. Um, And so here's a look at those wet results. Um, And just to give you a little, a little more information, I did put in some additional alcohol inks after I stopped recording on this piece. I went back in with some uh, iridescent opal alcohol ink. Um, And you'll see that it, it has some color shifting interference, uh, depending on the light, you know, how the light's hitting it, it'll shift. Uh, It's kind of a iridescent blue, uh, which I thought was really pretty. But um, so getting back to about what I was talking about. Um, So on top of that, you know, we focused a lot on this channel on uh, fluid art. Um, And I do love fluid art. It's, gosh, it's the most expressive, uh, loose, free way of painting, in my opinion, uh, or one of them. And so I really enjoy it. But I also enjoy doing a lot of other art. I mean, um, I've said before, you know, my name is Gorgeous Mixed Media, because I like working with multiple mediums. I like doing a mixed media pieces. But I also like doing, you know, playing with watercolor, I like playing Uh, with all sorts of different mediums. So I'm going to be sharing more of that in the future. Um, These last several months, 
I've been doing a lot of watercolor painting uh, and I've started learning how to use oil paints. In fact, right now, uh, while I'm doing this voiceover, I have a uh, mixed media uh, tiger painting <laughs> that I did uh, that's turning out, uh, in my opinion, it's turning out pretty cool. I don't know how everybody else feels about it, but uh, so I'll be, I'm going to probably do a art walkthrough uh, really soon so I can share with you, you know, all the things that I've done recently so you can get a glimpse at um, just the fun that I've been having off camera. Um, and I think that's really important is to be realistic with yourself, look inside and see what, what's right for you. And, um, and so that's what I'm trying to do. And I don't know that I have it all figured out on, you know, how I'm going to handle social media in the future. Um, I'm definitely not going to worry so much about schedules and posting at certain times. I'm just going to share when I feel like it, when I can. Um, that's probably not smart from a uh, business aspect, but as we've established, um, I don't care so much about the business aspect of things. So, um, that's what we're going to do. Uh, I know me personally, I'm kind of burnt out on, on, on TikTok. I've about had it with TikTok, uh, and all their, all their weird algorithm requirements and changes. They're constantly, um, let's be honest, TikTok just doesn't like, um, art. <laughs> it's it's not what gets the likes it's not what people are are watching on tiktok so um i haven't decided yet whether i'm going to fully abandon tiktok uh, i am going to stick with youtube uh, and i might even start doing some live streaming on youtube uh, right now we're doing uh saturday morning paint with friends uh where you know us artists like to hop on on saturday mornings and and talk about our week and, you know, work on our art together. Um, and that's probably one of my favorite things to do is just to hang out with other people who like to create, um, talk about what we're making, talk about our week, our lives. And, uh, that's, yeah, that's what, that's what I've been doing. So I might start doing some of that on YouTube in the future. Um, I will say that I probably won't post um, videos as frequently as I was doing before. You know, I was I was really trying to put out a video every week, um, which is kind of crazy for me because, you know, like I said, I do I do have a day job and uh, I have a family and and life outside of you know social media. So um, realistically, we're probably going to post more like once a month. Um, and the, and the reason why I want to put those parameters in place is because I want to give you guys quality videos that you care about watching. Um, and I think before I was more focused on putting out quantity, um, and maybe not so much quality. So yeah, so in the future, um, I'm going to be focusing more on, on quality and less on quantity. Um, and the, and the same goes for pretty much my goals with all social media. Uh, I'm going to be focusing more on quality, uh, rather than quantity content on other, you know, all the other platforms. So if you follow me elsewhere, um, that's just, that's just an FYI. Um, I will say I have recently started, um, threads. Uh, on IG and I love threads. Uh, the art community on threads is, you know, fantastic. Everybody, uh, is more authentic. Uh, and I like that. I feel like I can be more authentic on, uh, on threads. So consider, uh, hopping over onto threads. I like being able to connect with people, um, with, things like YouTube, it's very one-sided. You know, I'm talking to you, you're watching what I'm doing. I, I enjoy the community aspect more than anything else. Um, like-minded 
the fellow artists or people who just appreciate art that want to talk about it. I have connected with poets and writers, musicians, um, and they're all inspiring. And it's a, it's a great place where everybody kind of comes together and talks about nonsense. And uh, so, you know, consider connecting with me on threads um, and you'll get to see some of my mad ramblings and uh, my mad experiments uh, that I've been working on uh, probably more real time. All right. So here we are. We are at the finished results. And uh, if you've stuck with me this far through my uh, mad ramblings, here you can see the finished piece. Uh, so I did end up calling this piece thin skin because that's just how I was feeling at the time I was creating it. And I feel like it aptly, um, you know, it, it kind of, it resonates, right? Uh, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this piece. And, uh, here's some of my mixed media experimentation with, uh, acrylic and oil. Uh, some of my very, very first oil experiments and here I'm just trying to get a feel for the paint consistency and the mediums um, and trying to figure out what I like um, so you'll be seeing more of that and um, probably less process videos to be honest I'm thinking we're gonna we're gonna talk about things we're gonna we're gonna talk about topics and uh, we're gonna dig into experimenting with different mediums and uh so i hope you're along for that ride and i totally understand for those of you who are just here for the poor art if that's not really what you're into um i get it uh, but thanks so much for watching i hope you guys have a wonderful week and uh we'll see you soon